Are you serious? Are you serious? Will Jared Kirshner, will he lead the Middle East in disarray? Well, that's what some of the uh, Arabic news reports are coming out of the uh, Middle East. That President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kirshner, who was sent to start the process, the peace process, uh, that apparently his meeting with, of course, the Israeli government went very well. But when he went to Ramallah to meet with President Abbas of the Palestinian Authority, that it became a, a contentious uh, session. That actually Kushner relayed to President Abbas some of the demands by the Israeli government. One of which is stop paying terrorist families money for killing Jews. And another one that was re requested by the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's administration was that uh, why was it, why didn't Abbas condemn the uh, murder of this young Israeli Defense Force soldier, this young 23-year-old woman who was murdered the other day, which stabbed in the neck when attacked by these Palestinian terrorists? Why wasn't there an outcry? Why didn't he condemn the violence? Abbas said Kirshner and his team sound like a bunch of advisors for Israel. And so there was a, we're off to a rocky start. But maybe that's, that's the Trump style. That is the Trump style negotiations. Come in with a hammer and then offer the olive branch. He's not a patsy. He's not, he's not a pansy when he negotiates like uh, the former president Obama was, and which basically Obama was just on the other side, basically. I mean, what you have here with Trump is, okay, let's stand our ground in the areas that we know that the uh, Palestinians have got to change. First of all, Palestinians are gonna have to recognize Israel as a state if they're gonna be a part of that state, and they're gonna have to recognize Jews' right to live. How about that one? Folks, it's going to get tense, but here's the thing. I don't think anybody understands. Trump's not trying to make a peace agreement. Trump's trying to end the standoff. He's trying to strong arm the Palestinians into saying, here's your best deal you'll ever get. You might want to come underneath the Israeli government, let your citizens, your, your people become citizens of this nation, open up opportunity of free trade and, and, and opportunities and start living in a nation that you're, instead of screaming, you know, and staying contained in either the Gaza or the West Bank. So what Trump's trying to do is call this a peace agreement, but in reality, he's trying to bring the reality of the situation to the Palestinians. Now, he's doing this with cooperation talking with all of the Arabic leaders and the other nations surrounding Israel. So this is a very delicate situation. So Kirshner, everybody thought Jared Kirshner would come in and be good cop and that it would be Trump, the bad cop. But it looks like it's the other way around. Kirshner's starting out with the hammer and it'd be Trump with the olive branch. Let's just see how this all works out. It's going to be fascinating when they say peace and safety, then come a sudden destruction. That's in the Bible. And we know that in this, Jesus said in this world, you'll have trouble, but in me, you'll have peace. Do we realize that? We're going to talk about all of this tonight, including this brand new planet that they think they've discovered. Twin, uh, what in the Kuiper belt? And did BP Earthwatch, did, did he capture something uh, the other day? He's got some good videos on it where it looked like the magnetic shield, the magnetosphere shield was compromised from a wave of something? I don't know. We're going to try to find out about that and Planet X and uh, the the uh, crisis going on around the world. Uh, we're certainly living in the last days. And Johnny Depp, we have to talk about him again. I told you, Johnny Depp, you don't want to say these things. This is, is crazy what's been going on talking about everybody trying to figure out a way to display uh, their anger toward President Trump, but you can't talk about assassination, guy. Guys, seriously, give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days. Peace in the Middle East? Mm -hmm.